Hey y'all, time for a cozy car chat. I have not been saying hey before I've been popping in on these videos for y'all, but hey y'all. Hey fam, what's up? Happy Thursday. Got a quick cozy car chat for y'all. Open your hearts up to receive from it. And I hope you guys have a blessed day and that the message really touches you guys and pray about it. All right, later, enjoy the message. You know the Lord can help you stop cussing, right? You don't have to settle for, I love Jesus, but I cuss a little. Because when you come to Christ, you are a new creation, right? Yeah, you may, maybe you might slip up every once in a while, but that's different than, you know, actually saying it's okay to keep doing it, right? And even slipping up, honestly, God can take that away from you too. Yeah, he can cleanse your heart, purify all your desires, and he's going to continue to make you more and more like Jesus, okay? So I want to encourage you today, if you are struggling with, you know, cursing, that you ask the Lord to give you a clean mouth. Ask him to give you clean thoughts so you can have a clean mouth. Ask him to um, help purify your playlist, you know, what you are listening to. To take away your desires to listen to worldly music. Because one, for one, that's going to put um, cussing in your heart. It's going to put that in your mind. So, of course, what you're taking in is going to be what comes out of your mouth and pops into your thoughts, right? So ask the Lord to help cleanse you. And you might say, well, where does it say we can't curse in the Bible? Listen, there is a verse about um, corrupt speech, right? And also, think about it. Most curse words are actually doing just that, saying nasty things to other people. Think about who uses those words. Think about where they come from, where they're said at, whether in songs that are blatantly disrespectful to God or whether they're used to make another person feel bad about themselves. Like, where is the glory in that, right? Where is the glory to God in that? So ask yourself, like, you know, am I trying to settle in this and say, oh, I'm not perfect. You know, Jesus still loves me, so I can just keep cussing or you can use it in another area. I can just keep doing whatever I want to do. No, the Lord calls us to come up higher and I'm not condemning you. I'm not shaming you. Boy, I used to cuss back in college. I used to cuss in my 20s. I used to cuss and I was never just like a just cussing cussing potty mouth but I definitely cussed in music I definitely like was a social cusser around people so listen he can take it away from you he can take it away from you and again the one one of the things that mainly helped me was stopping the ungodly music that that was helping me and then of course the Lord delivered me from it and if you have a slip up every now and then, you can repent and ask the Lord to cleanse you again and take it off, um, you know, take it off of you. And you can ask him to show you why you're starting to curse again. And I'm guaranteeing you it's going to be either uh, these reels up here that have these popular songs in it, or either it's going to be, you know, from music or maybe you heard it from somebody. But this is why, you know, who we're around counts. What we listen to counts, what we watch counts, all because those things get poured into our spirit. And then guess what? That's what comes out. So today I encourage you as your sister in Christ, I'm not condemning you. I'm encouraging you to ask the Lord to cleanse your heart and to keep transforming you and to remove things um, in you that are not of him. And he will do it. Now he's not going to force you to change. And I'm not saying you're not saved because you might slip up sometimes, but I am saying that you know the lord can change you and don't settle for that i am saying that when you truly surrender your life to jesus you're going to be different you're going to be new your desires are going to change your wants are going to change your um definition of fun is going to change the way you view life is going to change and it's a beautiful thing so don't run from that transformation in christ don't run from it. There is so much growth in it. There is so much beauty in it on the other side. And what better than to surrender your life to Jesus and then other people can see how he transforms you and your life will be an example of his grace, of his goodness, of his transforming power. See, it wasn't by my own right that I, I changed myself. It wasn't by my power that I stopped cursing and I stopped listening to music that was not pleasing to God. It was by him. <laughs> it was by his grace. You can cry out and say, Lord, take this away from me. 
And then even sometimes without you doing that, he'll just start changing your heart. And the more and more you spend time with him, the more and more you surrender, the more and more you deny yourself daily, the more and more you're going to become like him. You're going to become like him. So don't settle for the I'm not perfect and then just live any kind of way. Don't settle for, but I cuss a little. Don't settle for, I love Jesus, but... No, let's be, I love Jesus and I'm going to surrender to him daily. I'm going to deny myself daily and I'm going to let him transform me because it is a wonderful life. We don't live a perfect life because of Jesus. No, he is the only one that's perfect. Our lives aren't going to be perfect and problem free, but we will have the one who is perfect walking with us every day. Okay, so surrender to him today. I guarantee you he'll change you.